One of the greatest platforming adventures of all time, Banjo-Kazooie is a game near and dear to my heart. Aside from being a nearly perfect adventure, this game has a lot of things that leave you going, wait, what was that? Playing through this as many times as I have opened up a plethora, yeah that's right, a plethora of mysteries. So here are some of the questions and thoughts I have that maybe you've never thought about, or maybe you have. This is the mysteries of Banjo-Kazooie. What is Mumbo? Mumbo Jumbo, best shaman in game, is your magical friend who transforms you into whatever creature the level demands. Looking at Mumbo, you can't help but wonder a few things, like why is his skin pink? Is his face a skull or is it a mask? Well, according to the Banjo-Kazooie manual, Mumbo's face has been transformed by his former student Gruntilda. Yeah, that's right, Gruntilda was Mumbo's student. She transformed his face into a skull mask of horror until the day she is overthrown. So, I guess technically she's never actually been overthrown, since he still has his skull face in Tui and Nuts and Bolts. But it begs the question, what does Mumbo look like under his mask? It stated his body was originally a Jinjo body in the design phase, but he's not actually a Jinjo. I guess we'll never truly know until Gruntilda is officially overthrown. But for now, we do have a representation of what he might look like under the mask. <sighs> Bottles, Martial Arts Master. Come on, I can't be the only one to wonder why Bottles seems to know and teach Banjo and Kazooie moves. Like, how does he know how to fly, let alone successfully teach Kazooie? I guess for Banjo, having claw attacks and a few other things would make sense since, you know, he has those. But flying? Eggs? Any bird-based move at all? He's either super creative, or he may in fact be the Dragon Warrior. Kazooie's eggs. Now here's the question. Kazooie having eggs isn't a big deal, but the fact Kazooie can either shoot him out of her rear end or shoot him out of her mouth, how does that work? Let alone the quantity of eggs, she can shoot out continually up to 100. My solution actually piggybacks off of my theory video for Banjo's backpack, that if you haven't seen it, you need to go check it out after this video. Kazooie simply stores eggs in the backpack and utilizes them when needed, spitting them out or pooping them out depending. The other thing is she's not producing the eggs. We're collecting them externally, so all she does is load up her gut and somehow is able to shoot them out various ways. Church Window Room in Mad Monster Mansion In Mad Monster Mansion, there's a mysterious stained glass window on the church with Banjo and Kazooie's face on it. You can go in this window to find a room with, well, basically nothing. This room is empty, no special items or jiggies. Nada. Zilch. All it has is a restock of basic items. Why? Was this room a scrap project? Did they originally intend to put more in it? I can't help but feel it feels like a stop and swap thing, or at least something significant. I can't find anything on it though. Perhaps this room would have been used for the unfulfilled 2D replay of the game. The Jinjos and Mighty Jinjinator At the end of Banjo-Kazooie, we are introduced to the Mighty Jinjinator, a character so powerful he has Grunty biting her fingernails in terror. Knowing what we know from Banjo-Tooie, the Jinjos actually have a village further past Spiral Mountain. So why are the Jinjos in Grunty's lair in the first place? And what is the Jinjinator doing here? In Grunty's Revenge, we get some hints that perhaps Grunty took over a previously Jinjo castle or temple, due to the head of King Jingling statue being seen. I believe that when Grunty took over, the Jinjos scattered throughout the worlds to search for their ultimate weapon. It was located somewhere in the lair, only to finally find the location of the Jinjos' ultimate advancement at the top of Grunty's tower, a place they didn't dare venture to on their own. I believe that once Grunty was defeated, she was not only filled with hatred for Banjo and Kazooie, but never wanted to be in that situation fighting an advanced machine like that without a defense ever again. This is where she started Grunty Industries and built heavy machinery like the Hague One, and also built Minji Jongo, who does seem to reflect some similar traits to the Jinjinator. So the mighty Jinjinator was advanced Jinjo technology ultimately the Jinjos had been searching for to defeat Grunty. Who's building the treehouse? In Clicklock Wood, throughout the season changes, you can find a treehouse being built, every season having just a bit more of the treehouse until finally it's finished in the fall, and then further boarded up for winter. But whose treehouse is this? Who's building it? We never see any character associated with it, Nabnut being probably the closest to it, but he already has his own tree home. Who could this be? Do you have any theories? What's eating our feet? In Bubble Gloop Swamp, you have swamp water you need the wading boots or a transformation to walk through. If you even touch the water as Banjo, you get injured and hear a teeth chomping noise. It's never shown what could be eating at us. The characters in the world consist of turtles, frogs, bugs, and alligators from what we see. It has to be something small enough to be swimming in the water. We know that the water is super shallow because even as a transformation, we're still above the water's surface. 
I feel like maybe they're tiny piranhas or baby tip tops. Oh, baby tip tops. I mean, look at these teeth. In all honesty, though, they're probably a smaller version of Chump who can be found in Grinch's lair. How big is Grabba? In Gobi's Valley, we encounter a bunch of mummies. These come in at about the same size as Banjo, maybe slightly taller. But then in the same space, we get Grabba, a large mummified hand. Haven't you ever wondered why the hand is so big? And more importantly, what's that hand attached to? There has to be some sort of giant mummy underneath it all. But then again, there is Moat's hand as well, which begs another question. Would a ghost or a zombie win in a fight? Where does Tootie live? Tootie we see at the beginning running around outside Banjo's house in Spiral Mountain. It's assumed she lives with him. But if we go inside Banjo's house, he's only got one bed. Where does Tootie sleep then? Don't tell me Banjo's selfish enough to make her sleep in the chair. Does Tootie live somewhere else entirely? This could very well be the case. Perhaps she was just visiting Banjo and actually lives somewhere else. Like, maybe the northern Cremosphere with the rest of her kind? Naughty from Donkey Kong Country. We have another potential DK crossover here. In Clicklock Wood, we meet a friendly NPC named Naughty who's just trying to get into his house. You'll notice Naughty looks very similar to a certain DK enemy. Coincidence? I think not! Naughty was sick of fighting Kongs and wanted to settle down, so he made his way over to Clicklock Wood. Or at least, that's what I think. But what do you think? Any mysteries or questions you had in this game? Let me know in the comments. Before you go, be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Until next time, have a good one! Jake, you look back!